people. Welcome to life in a reel. The last day of this year, 2023, we are all ready to go to church. But before we go to church, we want to wish you a happy new year, 2024. Hey, we want to thank you so much for your support and love that you've shown to us this year. And uh, before we go on to the next year, here is something that we want you to really hear from us. And Samir is going to tell that just about three, four minutes. But please listen to what we have to tell you. This is from our life and it's our experience of life as well. Go for it. Hi there. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas with your friends and your family. And I'm sure all of us are really looking forward to 2024. There's so much of excitement and anticipation in the air. But it's also important to take a few moments and look back at the year 2023. How did the year go? And what were the circumstances and situations that all of us had to face? And most importantly, how were we in our personal life and in our walk with Jesus? Did I learn something? Did I grow and did I mature? Let me share something with you today. From a very young age, I love Jesus and I love to worship Him. There was a passion in my heart for Him. But it kind of was a one-sided relationship. Why do I say that? It's because I love Jesus but I, I, and I found joy in words of comfort and assurance that were in His Word. But when it came to words of discipline, of rebuking and of correction, I would just flip the page. I wouldn't think that was for me. I did not realize that there were areas in my life that needed a touch of God. Until one day I was praying in my room and I was so emotionally driven and then God interrupted my prayer and He wanted me to have a very hard look at my own life. When I looked into my own life, I measured up in my own scale but when it came to God's scale, I failed miserably. What were the areas in my life that I was trying to hide or cover up? I did not even realize that I had those issues in my life. I was self-righteous. I was so full of myself. I was so stubborn in my own ways that I did not think I needed correction until God spoke to me. And I'm so glad that He did because He's a God that He loves us and He does not want us to be the way that we are. It does not matter how you came to Jesus, but it does matter how you are progressing after you've come to Jesus. Amen. So you might think it's, it's my weaknesses. I don't want others to see it and you want to cover it up. But if you give your weaknesses to him, he's going to build something out of it and it's going to be beautiful. The Bible says, unless the Lord builds the house, the one who builds it, labor in vain. No matter what efforts we try on our own, no matter what resolutions we try to make on our own, without God, we will fail miserably. Amen. He is a God of transformation. No matter what, what circumstances we have been through, no matter how messed up we might be, no matter what situations we've been through that made us the way that we are today, God is able to touch our lives. He's able to transform us, even the deeper areas of our life where we don't want to show anybody else. We all strive to be a better person, but there is no striving without Jesus Christ. The Bible talks about having transformation and being transformed into the likeness of His Son, Jesus Christ. And let Him be our model. So today I want to encourage you, have a good look into your own life. And allow the Lord, the God of transformation, through the power of His Word, to change your life. And I'm telling you, 2024 is not going to be an ordinary year for you. It's going to be something very, very extraordinary. If we will give ourselves into the hands of the Almighty God, He's going to do something beautiful out of it. And the very our, our very lives are going to be different. Amen? And we are going to be different. And I pray and all, we wish you a very happy and a blessed 2024. Well, I hope you've been blessed by hearing that. May God bless you. Have a great year 2024. Remember the word transformation. 2024 is a year of transformation. God is interested to transform us into his likeness and he loves us so much. And let me tell you, there will be a cost to pay. But let me tell you, that is for good. And that goodness will go into eternity forever. So do not be scared. Do not be scared to give in to the directions of God in your life. 
and you will see the transformation in your personal life, in your family, in your circumstances. Oh, it's going to be good. We are excited about 2024 and I'm sure you are excited as well. And so join us and we have great stuff coming your way in 2024 as well. And uh, we pray that it will be a great blessing to you. I hope you saw how the video started. We have in this channel, we look at four important things in our life. One is faith in God, relationship of a family and food and fun. So that's going to be in our channel. So, Wish you all a happy, happy New Year. Year!